These are going to be all of the steps which you want to apply in order to boost your FPS on a low-end PC here in Season OG. I'm going to show you all of the secrets which you need to make your game as smooth as possible. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And in the first place, guys, what you want to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in their Windows Update until you can find Windows Update settings. Because once we're in here, we're going to click under Delivery Optimization and there's a very important feature. If you have this on enabled, guys, you're actually allowing Microsoft to use your PC as a download server for other PCs in your near. So that means that actually in the background, whatever you have high ping or you notice that the performance of your PC is bad, it might actually be that someone in your surroundings is downloading the latest Windows update over your PC. If you turn this on, your PC may send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to PCs on your local network or on the internet. So therefore, what you definitely want to make sure, guys, is that this one is fully disabled. I already disabled this directly in my registry, so for me, it's not even an option anymore, but make sure that this one is disabled. Then you're going to go again into your Windows search bar and actually type in their privacy settings and open it up. First of all, on the journal, make sure that everything here is fully disabled under change privacy options. Let websites provide locally relevant content, don't want it. Let Windows track app launches, also disable it and show me suggested content in the settings app, which are basically all of these built-in ads into your Windows 10 or 11, which you want to disable as well. Then we're going to go here over to diagnostics and feedback and here you're going to make sure that you disable as well every single one of these here, guys. This is super important. This is basically Microsoft collecting data off your PC and sending them directly to their servers. This is pretty hardware demanding and always running in the background. Then we're gonna go under location. We're gonna make sure that everything here is turned off as well. Then camera, microphone, and voice activation, I would maybe leave on since it's kind of important for recording OBS or whatever. But under notifications, you're actually gonna make sure to turn this one off. Then we're gonna go to contacts, this one as well. Then we have calendar as well, phone calls. Just make sure that all of these here are completely disabled, guys. These are all unnecessary services running in the background 24 seven, drastically slowing down your PC, especially background applications which you should turn off as well something like Cortana, the game bar, Microsoft Photos, then as well app diagnostics, automatic file download, documents, this one you're gonna put to off as well, pictures as well, videos and file system. Once you're done with all of these here you can close this already and we gotta go one final time in here until you can find adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and in here I would highly recommend you guys to go for adjust for the best performance and only make sure that show thumbnails instead of icons is enabled so that you actually can see the small preview of videos or photos on your PC directly. Besides that, make sure that everything else is fully disabled and click apply and okay. And of course guys, one of the best methods to get super high FPS on a low-end PC is a stretch resolution. I've got so many tutorials already about this on my channel, but right now your on screen are a list of the top five best ones, which I would recommend you for low-end PC. It's also super easy to apply it. Basically, you just have to get alpha res, get it on your PC. You can, by the way, find it on my official website, link in the description. And then once you use alpha res, guys, you just simply have to put in the resolution which you want to apply. Make sure to cap your FPS exactly free underneath your maximum refresh rate if you're on everything above 75 hertz and then click under apply then once you have in-game guys it's already going to be applied and trust me a stretch resolution can literally give you a huge increase of even up to 60 percent really depending on how low you can go and if you guys ever wondered how to get solo ping in fortnite it's actually because of the gr booster you can try this out for absolutely free with the link in the description it's also the tool which marrow the fncs winner is using the gr booster is basically improving your ping by finding the best dns server in your near so therefore just simply launch it select fortnite and you can see guys we already have improvement of 138 percent my ping is insanely low like even for rank 10 milliseconds is super low guys which means in creative i would get probably zero ping right now and what's the best about it guys is adaptive intelligent routing this means that it's actively in the background always going to look for the best dns server making sure that you have the least amount of ping so therefore check it out with the link in the description guys it's amazing so guys the next up we're going to utilize the automotive windows tweaker version 4.8 for windows 10 there's also version for windows 11 and you can find it on my official website and once you launch it to itself it should look exactly like this here and what do you want to do guys is head over to performance in the first place then you're basically going to copy all of my following settings first of all all of these settings here on the top you're going to drag all the way to the left side and make sure that you disable as well everything which i have fully disabled in here guys something like tablet input services then we have something like microsoft edge preloading and printer spooling services basically all of these here which are checked for me you want to check as well additionally this is a small tip which actually makes a huge difference turning off the search indexer but keep in mind you can use then again your YouTube. Keep in mind you can use then your Windows search so therefore this is actually really useful and I use it on a daily basis so therefore this is completely up to you if you want to try this. But before you apply anything guys I would always recommend you to create a restore point here real quick with this setting on the bottom. Then we're gonna go over to security guys and in the first one you're gonna leave everything just how it is but we're gonna go over privacy and there you're gonna make sure that all of these settings are checked guys. These are all basically just services in the background collecting data off your system and sending them to Microsoft so therefore what you 
want to do is make sure under privacy that everything is fully checked and then click under apply tweaks. Then we're going to go under additional and in here guys you want to make sure that enable the network adapter onboard processor is actually checked. So many motherboards nowadays have a network onboard processor and for some reason it's actually not enabled on stock so therefore all of the network activities are getting processed by your CPU which is of course a lot more demanding for it and giving you worse performance while gaming. So therefore make sure that this one is enabled, click under apply tweaks again and then we can close the tool. And as extra tip guys you want to go again under discord.gg slash the stripes then here under search you're going to type in there filter keys until you can find filter keys and settings. This one you're going to get directly from discord and once you get filter keys then on your PC this is a tool which all your favorite Fortnite pros are using to get super insanely low input delay. You're going to launch the tool itself and as well open up the settings sheet. And what you just simply have to do in here now guys is make sure to copy all of the polling settings here on the right side. So therefore you're going to put ignore under 0 milliseconds, repeat delay to 150, repeat rate to 25 and on the right side you're just going to leave on and away will turn on, the rest you're going to completely uncheck and click apply. Now you will already see that your keyboard is going to type a lot faster and you can spam keys a lot more frequently. This is a really good method to get insanely low input delay on any keyboard. And if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and definitely make sure to check out the two videos which are right now on screen as well.